Uh, hello, everybody. You know, we're right here in Sonora, Texas on the I-10. Okay, Jake's looking for a spot to take a dump. And those turds will just bake in the sun. So you could just leave them there. I'm just kidding. I would never do such a thing. I'm just pulling your chain, trying to get you riled up. Anyway, we're headed east into the great state of Texas. That might be debatable for some people, but there's things I like about it, okay? And I couldn't help but notice you might see all these monarchs up there. Okay, look at that. See that up there? They're on their way to uh, Michoacan, to those Abies Religiosa forests at 9,000 feet elevation to uh, overwinter there. Now, you might know uh, the monarch population in California is near extinct, but here in the central United States, where they still get summer rain and there's uh, plenty of milkweed to go around, uh, they're doing great. And, uh, you know, I hope that lasts. You, you, you never know these days. With the amount of human sprawl, uh, the increasing amount of human sprawl, look at them over there. Look, you could see, look at it. Anyway, let's see if we can find a couple more. Texas always has the nicest rest stops. You know, really good spot to take a leak. But this isn't a spot, you know, where you could go piss on a tree over there like you might do in California. They don't tolerate that here. Look at it. Look at how many goddamn hard to see because of the glaring sun. But look at all those guys just hanging out. Just hanging out up there on the shady side of the tree. Are you excited to go to Michoacan, huh? I've been there before, that's nice. I like those forests. Now where they're going, uh, they're fir forests, you know, like the same type of fir you'd hack down and put uh, in your damn living room uh, so Chris Kringle can take a shit underneath it and whatnot, you know? But uh, these are temperate firs, so I don't even think they really get snow up there at the Reserva de Mariposa Monarca in Michoacan. It's a perfect spot to overwinter if you're a, mona, a monarch butterfly. Look at those guys, look at that. Look at how many of these goddamn... It's incredible to think. I mean, we're what? We're 500, 600 miles from Michoacan, at least. They're gonna fly through the desert. They're gonna fly through the Chihuahua Desert. Over all that uh, hot cartel activity in Tamaulipas. Wait a minute, no, you know, I don't think they'll go through Tamaulipas. Maybe the western edge of Tamaulipas. They're going to go over some wonderful uh, gypsophile endemic cacti. Gypsum endemic cacti down there in the Huevo Leon and the Sierra Madre Oriental down there. You know, it's nice too. They got that orange showy color to them because they know the birds know not to eat them. They know the birds know not to fuck with them because uh, they got all those... Uh, cardiac glycosides that they bioaccumulated from eating all that Desclepius, all that milkweed. So, you know, if you're a bird and you, you, you stuff one of those in your mouth, you're gonna barf. You're just gonna retch all over the floor, you know? All, uh, or all over the tree canopy. So anyway, they only fly during the day. So I think they're posted up there for tonight and then tomorrow morning once that sun comes up, it starts heating up. It's about 90 degrees right now, or it was earlier, October, and it's 90 degrees in Texas. Anyway, you know, once the uh, sun comes out tomorrow morning, starts warming up, they'll be on their way again. You know, so uh, even the monarchs think uh, the Texas rest stops are nice, you know. Yeah, you know, these are probably crumbs compared to years past, but uh, it's the Anthropocene. I'll take it where I can get it. Little bits of pleasantries wherever you can get it. Little bits of joy amongst the wreckage, you know? You guys really gonna post up there all night, really? Shit, I've been sitting still 10 hours, I can't do it anymore. They just hang out in a, in a Corcus Virginianus. Look at it, how you do that? Just tell me how you do that. I just wanna know how you do that. Mitchell Akans, I thought it was 600 miles. From here, it's about 800 miles. Uh, how do you do it? They, they gotta just be riding the thermals and the air currents and whatnot. I'm not trying to diminish your your effort. I'm just saying, you know. Well, I guess you don't weigh very much. You know, once you get up there, once you get a laugh, you know, you're kind of set. 
Look at it. You can see. Can you see them? You know, it's kind of hard because of the back lighting. But they're up there. I love those forests they've been to, too. They're fucking beautiful forests. 9,000 feet elevation. Okay, foggy up there. Foggy cloud forests. With the Abies religiosa. I seen a nine foot tall lupin down there, too. I was the me and Alan were down there looking for mushrooms. They got all the damn monotropa. You know, purple monotropa coming up, all kinds of weird fungus. You know, all the mycorrhizal shits, all the nice amanitas and stuff down there in those forests. Very rich forests. But, you know, there's been a lot of illegal logging going on and some assassination of uh, some of the people who are trying to protect those forests. So, uh, you know, there's some. <laughs> There's some work to do. Look at that. There's just, I mean, this is probably a drop in a bucket, too. There's probably, you know, you go through that deer fencing over there, you go into the, the, the thorn scrub and shit. I bet there's millions of them. I seen them, you know, crossing the freeway, you know, but uh, to see a bunch of them all, all posse up like that, that's something else. Okay, well, I guess that's all I got for today. Have a good time in Mitchell, Khan. To everybody watching, go fuck yourself. Bye. Have a good evening. Bye.